Hi, my name is Ben Hervey Murray. I'm a professional surf fishing guide and these are my five go-to surf perch fishing baits. So I find bait choice to be really critical fishing the surf, particularly when the water temperature is a little bit lower like they are now. You've really got to hit it right. You've got to get something they really, really want to eat. And I think one of the best all-round baits you could use is a Berkeley Gulp Sandworm. Uh, the two-inch version in Camo Neris color, really great bait. And I use this all, round, all year round with clients. Um, I, sometimes I chop them in half. You know, that's a good tip if you're fishing in the winter. You want to catch everything in front of you. Half a Berkeley Gulp Sandworm is a really killer bait. Um, or a whole one, you know, that's going to catch a lot of fish, your surf perch, plus the corbina and the croaker in the summer. So that's a really good all-round bait. Super easy to use. You can keep that in your bag all year round and just pull them out and they're ready to go. Everything wants to eat them and they're just a really reliable go-to surf perch bait. Okay, so my next favorite one is a curly tail grub. And I love fishing this and the Berkeley Gulp sandworm with a little four inch faceted red bead right in front of it. Gives a little extra little color. And that little, little curly tail, so kind of between one and a half and two inch long root beer or motor royal color with a bit of flake in there and a lovely little curly tail with a bit of movement, um, a bit of vibration, gets their attention when the water's maybe a little bit murky like it was this morning. So the next one is really probably one of the pr premier baits for surf fishing in California, and that is the, uh, the ghost shrimp. So quite hard to find, quite expensive if you're gonna buy them as well. But in my experience, everything wants to eat ghost shrimp. Um, and if you really want to set your sights on something like a corbina whilst you're surf perch fishing, then that's going to be a really great option. But really everything wants to eat ghost shrimp. Um, everything from the most northerly red tail surf perch up in like Oregon, all the way down to the bar surf perch in Southern California, everything wants to eat ghost shrimp. So that's a really good live bait is uh, fresh ghost shrimp, one of my favorites. And my next favorite bait is a bloodworm. Uh, again, quite expensive or quite difficult to find, but if you can get them and you know, get a nice size one, kind of what, four inches long, um, chop it in half, keep the really bloody end as well. That, that's, the, that's the bit you really want. Um, thread that up a size two hook. And again, that catches everything, but in the winter, they, that seems to really trip up some really big surf perch. A um, couple of my clients caught their PBs earlier this year on bloodworm, so that's a really good reliable bait. Um, and a little tip as well is I take a bit of fish bites, bloodworm scent, put that on the hook as well. So I keep, it's almost like a, like a keeper, hook keeper. And we thread that on the hook and that keeps the bloodworm from sliding down the hook and masking the point, which definitely gets you a few extra hookups. And um, also it's a bit of extra scent, a bit of extra visual traction in the water as well. And probably my favorite surf fishing bait or surf perch bait is the sand crab. And if you can get a soft shell sand crab, the one that's just molting its shell, that is even better. That is, I'd say, probably the best bait you can use in Southern California is those nice little soft shell sand crabs. Uh, commonly, common mistakes with those is people go for a really giant one, kind of like the big egg or grape size ones, um, or, or the tiny little ones. And I find a, a kind of in-between, kind of thumbnail size sand crab works really well. Uh, again, just hooked through the backside on a uh, size eight or size six hook. And if you can't get one kind of medium sized one, uh, four or five tiny little ones as well. That's going to do a great job for you. For more tips and tricks, go to akumafishingusa.com.